Hey, what's up, everyone? Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye here. May 24th, 2017, DJI came out with a new drone, and that is the DJI Spark. And this is something that they were saying that their one goal of this entire thing was simplicity, that they wanted to get a daily user. They wanted more of a customer base to use a drone. And they said, um, one of the things that customer, two of the things that customers didn't understand was, uh, what do you do with the drone? Like, what can you do every day with it? And is it easy to fly? Now, to me, this is competing with the unique breeze. Uh, you can go check that out if you want something. I'll link that down below. But it's a very similar concept, except DJI really does a great job with a lot of their technology and everything that is interfacing their drone. So with this DJI Spark, you're getting something that they even say is smaller than a can of soda that fits in the palm of your hand. Now, this is not a DJI Mavic for uh, Pro replacement or anything like that. This is a $499 starting drone, a palm drone that you can do a lot of stuff with. So a lot of stuff you see here, and I'm gonna cover a lot of this stuff, but essentially a lot of this starts off in the palm of your hand. I don't know if they show it here, but essentially what you do is you, you hold the uh, Spark in your hand, you uh, hold the power on for two buttons, uh, for two seconds, the power button for two seconds, and then we'll automatically take off. Now, the interesting part about this thing is that you can use it with a drone without even a smartphone, um, just for basic photos and stuff like that. So you can actually hold your hand out with the camera facing you, and you can actually control the spark to go left, right, up, down, just with the palm of your hand. So you can even tell it to raise, go back, you can push towards it and whatever, and it stays within three feet of your movements. Now, if you do, uh, if you do a wave, uh, I believe it goes up about ten feet and goes up a little bit above your height. So, just without even using a smartphone or th anything like that, you have control over it, which I think is very interesting. Now, what you could also do is like what they have with all these gesture controls is you could do this, and that tells it to take a photo, and it will take a photo always using the active tracking system to keep the subject in the middle of the frame. So if you're in the middle of the frame, you want a wider selfie or something like that, you uh, you wave it, you tell it to go back, and then, you know, do it again. And you do it again, it'll come back. And to land it, you essentially just put your palm under it uh, for a couple seconds. It'll automatically detect your palm, fly down, and, and you can shut it off and power it off. This is an interesting product. The price point is a little interesting. Um, but to break more into it, you're getting a one and two third inch sensor camera. It will do 12 megapixels. So you're getting some interesting stuff. It has a two axis mechanical gimbal. So they're saying that this is a little bit better than your cell phone. It should do better in lower light and stuff like that. Um, so you, they do claim that you're getting 1080p video at 30 frames per second. I do wish that that was 60 frames per second. Uh, I know people are going to want 4k out of this thing. But for $500, this isn't that bad. It's it's a little tempting to own. They're going to have a bunch of colors and everything. The uh, cool thing about this is it's still going to have the GPS system, so that way it still hovers properly in place. You can return the home. It's got the vision uh, the visionary system, so that way it detects where you're at. And it's and the GPS system and everything is so good is that you can be within 98 feet. You can be indoors and everything, and it will find it will without impedance at all. The flight battery is actually 16 minutes. I'll cover um, some of that stuff there. And in sports mode, this will actually go 31 miles per hour. So that's exactly what we need is more people being able to, uh, you know, cut people's heads off with things. Um, if you want to use the smartphone, though, to do something more, you can. You can use the DJI 4 Go app. Um, so you got to make sure you update the app once you get this. It's actually pre-ordering today, and it will ship in June of 2017. So a little less than a month, a couple weeks. Um, you have control over this up to 109 yards using the smartphone. Uh, you only have that 10 feet option when you're doing just the hand gestures and that doesn't do video So you need to use a smartphone to record video to change your settings and everything and if you get the optional remote control Which you see bah, 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 right here, which essentially looks like the one you kind of get with the Mavic I think this one's gonna be the exact same um, it, it you can go 1.24 miles now the other thing they stress is a lot of these um, modes that you're doing new kinds of things and they do this through something that they call a quick shot and a lot of stuff that you're getting is actually new flight modes and everything like that interchangeable battery Which is a big thing. They have a micro USB uh, port that you can charge it. So it's it's actually it's pretty interesting uh, For uh, four modes you have a rocket mode which will essentially just the camera will be facing down and will just go straight up So you're seeing some of the shots and everything here the face system is a, I mean the, the video quality looks okay I don't know how great it'll be but keep in mind. It's on a very small sensor 
Uh, this also does a drone quick shot mode, which starts on the subject and just flies straight back. This also does circle, which just circles, hovers and circles around someone. Uh, you see this fake, <laughs> this fake footage here. Uh, and then it also does helix, which goes close to the subject, goes up and away, and then actually circles around in bigger circles to get more of a dynamic feel. What you saw right there is that this is also uh, compatible with the DJI goggles, um, but they're $450, which is almost the price of this drone uh, as it is. Once again, you, they're, they're stressing that you can edit everything in the DJI 4 uh, Go app. You can create, edit, and everything like that. The other thing is that it, you can use micro SD, and this does come with a 16 gigabyte micro SD card if you pre order. Camera 1 and 2 third instant, 12 megapixels, 1080p, 30 frames per second. I mentioned the me mechanical two axis shuttle, uh, shutter, and it has two new features. It has a new pano option, which auto stitches a you know, pano. And it has shallow focus, so this is these are the ones I was talking about right here. And this shallow focus mode essentially recognizes the subject using DJI's 3D visioning system and will blur out the background around it. Kind of think of how the Apple portraits mode works in a way. Um, and you could go from there. You just saw the guy switch to uh, sports mode on the controller, 31 miles per hour, uh, interchangeable battery, works with the goggles, dual GPS, forward facing. So there is actually a, an obstacle avoidance in there just facing forward, so keep that in mind. And you have that up to 16 feet. Not too bad, pretty interesting. And really, that's about it. You can Once again, you can pre-order today. You can go from there. And really, that is the, really, that's the drone. This is the DJI Spark. And once again, it's right here. And it actually comes in uh, different colors. You have uh, white, red, yellow, blue, green, uh, and you have the typical like silver gray type of thing. Uh, it's $499 just for the drone that you can use the app on your phone for free. Or you can get the Fly More combo, which comes with a whole bunch of stuff for $700. And that includes the remote, which if you wanted to buy the remote alone is, is uh, $149. So if you want the remote, you might as well get the Fly More uh, combo and you get an extra batteries and chargers and everything uh, as you go with that. Very interesting. Um, it's using what it has out there. It's actually kind of facing, like I said, it's facing the unique breeze, but this is the DJI Spark. That is everything you really need to know about it. It might be worth actually getting it hands-on just to test it. I really want to see the full HD quality of it and how it's going to do. Um, they priced it right. I said if it's over $500, this would be a bit of a joke, especially since it doesn't do 4K. Um, I don't really care that it does 4K. You just have to oversample that a lot. But this is, this is pretty cool. Mm -mm. But this is pretty cool, pretty interesting. I will do my best to get a hands-on with that um, as I'm getting, really getting back into drones now, and we will go from there. So hopefully late June, uh, I could maybe get hands-on with this and just give my thoughts on how this is and if it's really that easy to fly. Very intuitive for what it is, but what are your thoughts? Let me know down below. I know this was a longer video, but this is the DJI Spark. Let me know your thoughts on this. Is it interesting? Is it not? Would this be something the everyday person would buy? Would this be something you buy?